Hi, this is your host, Supreme Bhartia, and welcome to another episode of LF Energy Products. And today we have two guests from RT, Akhil Ramun, Product Manager at RT and Technical Leader of the Fledge Power Project at LF Energy, and Benoit Johnson, Enterprise Architect at the Open Source Office at RT. Akhil, Benoit, it's great to have you on the show. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, Hi Swap. Thanks. Thanks for having us. So first of all, I want to understand the origin of this project, the genesis, and also the name. So please tell me, uh, uh, what's this project all about? Yeah, actually, we have started uh, this project uh, uh, less than one year. So this is really a very young project. <clears throat> and uh, we were looking at RTE for a solution to, uh, to solve one of our problems. Uh, which is actually making uh, very uh, old systems and legacy systems communicate with uh, new systems. So we have a bunch of systems that needs to be communicating. And for this, we use something which is which is called a uh, protocol translation gateway. And uh, we were we were actually looking for a new uh, generation of software that can help us solve. Uh, this problem uh, and to be able to replace uh, the legacy uh, gateways that that are already that are already um, deployed uh, so this is really the the, the, the starting point and um, we have looked for different products uh, open source or proprietary and at the end uh, we have chosen a, a platform which is called fledge uh, which is an lf edge uh, open source uh, project, uh, which which has a really uh, very interesting uh, sp sp yeah uh, features uh, to build Fledge Power on top uh, on top of it. So Fledge is our is the foundation of of, of the Fledge Power uh, project, and uh, in some kind of way, Fledge Power is an extension of Fledge. Uh, that is narrowed to, to solve uh, a very specific problem, which is the telecontrol protocols translation, uh, translation. Can you just go a bit deeper and explain, you know, what exactly uh, is multi-protocol translation? Uh, what role do they play within power systems? If you think uh, uh, to a protocol as a human language, actually a protocol is the way uh, systems talk to each other. So each component of, of the system uses the protocol to communicate with, with, each, or with each other. Um, and in the case uh, of, yeah, in the case of uh, multiple systems uh, and telecontrol networks, which are actually composed of very different systems, uh, we need to use uh, several, uh, several protocols. So uh, we, we need to make all the systems which talk their own language be able to communicate with each, each other. And this is where we put something in the middle, which is called the protocol translation gateway, to be able to do this, this job of translating information, which is actually the same information we collect. For, for, for example, we can collect uh, sensors data from the field, from the substations. Uh, so this information will be described in some kind of way in the in, in the in the protocol and will be described in another way in the other in another protocol. So the job of the gateway of the protocol translation gateway is to be able to make this translation from one language to another or to say it in another way from one protocol to another. Can you also kind of talk a bit about because when I think of protocol, it's more like when you have different systems or you know totally different you know uh, platforms. That's when you need a protocol so they can talk to each other. So I want to understand why you need a protocol translation. Is it because uh, you're trying to talk to different not only systems? Uh, because if you look at energy sector, you know consumers are becoming producers. We have solar panels, solar walls installed. We also have electric vehicles which have batteries also. So 
talk about the need of this protocol number one. And then you also said that you had legacy ones. So why you need the modern ones? I think that the, the answer is in your question. Uh, you, we have a lot of new uh, devices. Uh, yes. So you quoted the one, which is the electrical vehicles, which come with their own language, which we, which is a protocol. Uh, and we have to integrate these uh, electrical vehicles in our power system. And we, we need to make our uh, SCADA, which is actually our central system to control all the, all the devices, to be able to talk to them. And uh, our central systems have their own language, have their own protocol, and they cannot discuss directly or communicate directly with, for example, the, 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 the electrical vehicle or the batteries or whatever you want to, uh, directly with the systems. So that's where you need some, a piece of software to make the translation. Um, so this is one use case, but you can think to other use cases where, where you, you, you would need uh, this kind of protocol translation. And this is where Fledge Power actually uh, would be helpful to solve this problem. Can you talk about uh, the governance of this project? Because Linux Foundation, they have a very good structure, but every project, they can choose their own governance model. So talk about the governance model of Fletch Power uh, within LF Energy. The governance of the Fletch Power is a bit actually uh, specific because we are very uh, tied and very uh, with the, the, the Fletch project. As I, uh, as I said earlier, uh, Fletch Power is in some kind of way uh, an extension of uh, Fledge, uh, narrowed and uh, focused on uh, solving a very specific problem, but our foundation is, is Fledge. So we have very a close uh, collaboration and cooperation with the Fledge uh, community uh, to, yeah, to discuss all the technical matters uh, that that are actually evolving, uh, in, where we we are both involved. So and so, I'm member of the Fledge TSC, and people from and the members of the Fledge TSC are also members of the Fledge Power TSC, and we discuss very frequently to have a structured and harmonized approach solving uh, the, the problems we could, we, we, we could face. You mentioned you know, there, there are communities, there's Fletch community and there's Fletch Power community. But if I ask you, what kind of community is it? Who are the members, whether they're companies or individual developers? So talk about the community. Yeah, thank you, Swap, for asking this question. So today our community is mainly composed uh, by RTE, uh, Dynamic, uh, and uh, Osisoft also, who, are, who, who were at the beginning of, of the project. We are a very young project, but uh, we are very motivated. Um, and uh, yeah, all these people are showing great interest and great involvement in the development of, of this project. Uh, we have also talked to other TSOs who, who are very interested in joining us. So like uh, people like... Uh, uh, our neighbors from Germany or from Belgium uh, who look at our pro project in, uh, in, in, yeah, they are very interested in, in joining us uh, as a partners at the beginning and maybe uh, in the future will be more, uh, will be contributors to the project. If you look at Arctic and other, you know, uh, companies that you mentioned, some of them are European uh, is there any interest from other countries, other regions of the world also in the project? Yeah, and there's also a very, uh, interest uh, from, uh, from other parts of the world, like uh, Singapore. We have uh, some university from Singapore, which, is, uh, which we had contact with. Uh, we had a, a very interesting talk about their, their use case and how they can use Fletch Power to, to solve their use case. Uh, we have also a discussion um, with people from... Uh, uh, University of Aachen, so the, from the Sonio project. I think that they, you, you had them on interview. Uh, so we are we are having a discussion uh, uh, with them. So to see to say to see how we can uh, use Fletch Power to integrate with Sonio. And I think that there's also people from TEPCO from Japan, 
who are also interested in fledge power. So as you can see, the community is very uh, is 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 very uh, international community, uh, and there's a lot of people from different organizations uh, that are interested to the project. Of course, as you mentioned, that fledge is the foundation of this project. If you can talk about what are the core components of this project, and then after that, we'll talk about the release, cadence, and other stuff. But let's start with the technical aspect, the components of this project. So the, the main component of the, of the project, so, so, so Fledge Power is, is uh, built uh, on top of uh, Fledge. So uh, the main architecture of Fledge Power is the Fledge architecture. Uh, the thing that is very interesting with Fledge, it's, uh, it's a very lightweight software which is meant to be deployed at the edge on uh, very constrained uh, resources. And this is what we want to do in our use case, for example, for RTE, where we need to deploy uh, protocol, protocol translation gateways in the substations. So in the substations, you, you need to be able to deploy very small computers and where we to run uh, softwares. Uh, so, yeah, this is the this is one of the main feature of Fledge that is very interesting. The other feature that is very interesting is uh, is the the plugins uh, feature that allow actually to add new protocols very in a very very easy way. Uh, you don't need actually to recode from the from scratch, or you have you can inherit a lot of the code that is built uh, and have been developed in Fledge, and you only need to focus on your very specific protocol when you want to add a new uh, protocol protocol to the to, to to the system to the getaway. So this is the two main features that makes uh, the project and the product very flexible and extensible. So I just like to add, so of course, Fletch Power is based on Fletch and many of the features that we will inherit are coming from Fletch and, and the source that we are developing today is directly delivered in the Fletch repository. But uh, the, specific, the specifications, the, no, not the specifications, what will differ from Fledge Power is also all the tooling that is around Fledge to address our specific um, use case, and especially the, the ability to configure uh, Fledge Power uh, as another uh, device that we have in the substation. And we will make the connection with another open source project that is Compass to enable the, the configuration of Fledge Power with this particular ecosystem. Um, and we will also need to have a component such as a simulator to be able to uh, simulate various protocols uh, just to uh, test the, 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 um, the, the protocol gateway and to be able to test also various scenarios, uh, big scenarios with a lot of data to be handled at once and, and to ensure that Fletch Power is uh, able to, to cope with the uh, uh, a huge amount of data in, in a very little time uh, because the Fletch Power will become a very critical software in our telecontrol infrastructure. Excellent point. I really love it. Uh, now, uh, one more thing I want to ask you is that uh, it's an ongoing project. Uh, there are, of course, you know, challenges that are ahead of you that you're still trying to solve. So if I ask, you know, there are, what are the things that you are like in your pipeline? Hey, this is the problem that we have to solve and that you folks are focused on. Yeah, our, our, our next step actually is to be able to implement a new use case, uh, which is an RTE use case, which is being able to deploy uh, protocol translation gateways at the edge in the substations to be able actually to collect uh, data from sensors, but we're also being able actually to send telecontrols, which is actually all about uh, telecontrols networks, is being able actually to collect data, but also send uh, controls or orders to, uh, for example, a circuit breaker. So this is our very first use case we want to be able to implement uh, Maybe in the next year, we will be able to, to have a first version, a first release of the Fletch Power 
software that can be implemented and deployed at the substation to do the, to do and to implement this use case. Can you tell me uh, about these protocols and as also you know protocols need to work across systems so how flexible they are so that you have room for other protocols or integ integration with other systems? So yeah, we have uh, in our roadmap uh, actually we have defined uh, uh, some protocols that need to be implemented uh, at the very beginning of the project because it will be useful for. Uh, various use cases. So uh, the first one is IEC 104. As I mentioned earlier, we need it for substation deployment. So uh, this will be the first protocol. Then we will be adding other protocols uh, very quickly, like uh, IEC TACE 2, uh, OPC UA, and IEC 61850. But on the beauties of Linux Foundation or Linux Foundation Energy is that, you know, it's a home for open source projects. Sometimes people might see that there are two projects which might be overlapping. Sometimes they do overlap, sometimes it's just misunderstanding. So uh, there are certain projects, you know, like GSF, uh, GXF is another project which might lead that, hey, you know, these two projects are trying to solve the same problem. So what is the difference between, you know, the grid exchange fabric and uh, flash power? Thanks for asking this question, actually. Uh, yeah, the, the main difference, to, yeah, to, to, to answer in few words, the main difference be between uh, Fletch Power and GXF is that uh, GXF has been uh, designed and built to be run at the central, uh, at the central level in, in, in the cloud or on data center and to control uh, thousands and hundreds of thousands of devices uh yeah this is the main the main the main focus and the the, 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 the problem that the gxf tries to solve uh whereas actually fledge power we're very focused on something which is smaller than what uh GX, gxf tries to, to to solve we are really actually focused on the protocol translation so the heart of Fledge Power is, is about protocol translation. And we also are actually meant to run at the edge. So uh, where GXF is more meant to run uh, on the central level, like on the cloud or in the pri uh, or in private data center. So I hope that this helps clarify the difference and the overlaps that can exist between GXF and, and, uh, and Fledge Power. So that's a question that we are asked many times because uh, actually there are similarities in terms of feature between uh, JXF and Fletch Power. Uh, the thing is that JXF uh, is meant to, to control millions of devices, to have automation at the centralized level for millions of devices, such as uh, public lightning or uh, controlling uh, sets of uh, hundreds of thousands of metering devices. Fletch Power is not exactly focusing on that kind of use cases. Fletch Power is really uh, focusing on having the ability to have a lightweight, lightweight solution to make protocol trans translation. And this can be done at the local level. So in the substation, uh, you will have one single instance of JXF for your utility. You will have thousands of instances of Fletch Power for the same company. Akli Benoit, thank you so much for taking time out today and I talk about not only the Fledge Power project, but also uh, the whole governance and the, the kind of challenge that you're trying to solve for the larger ecosystem, which goes beyond RT. So thanks for sharing those insights. And of course, I would love to have you folks back whenever there is a new update for the project. So thank you for your time today. Thank you, Swap. Thank you very much.